How's it feel? Feels like I'm a kid again. <laughs> <laughs> So we, we, since the clutch and the header were installed, I drove it around um, for like, what, like four hours, I think? Mm -hmm. uh, I just waited until like 1 a.m. and then just drove around like the, like the uptown Whittier and like the neighborhoods around here. Yeah. Uh, a lot of, the whole point is uh, to, the whole point in, uh, I guess, uh, like got the lights, right? Um, <laughs> in, uh, uh, how do you say, breaking in the clutch is, uh, according to, well, like Zeddy, uh, initially, there is about 30% of the friction material is actually touching, mm -hmm. um, like the flywheel and the pressure plate surface. So, um, a lot of, uh, a lot of, I guess, stop and go, rather, stop and then start in first gear, second gear, whatever, is uh, necessary to uh, get those get those surfaces to like meet mm -hmm. and you know have you know, ideally 100% of the touch. So uh, yeah, I, did this, I think I did that sufficiently. Um, and well, with that broken in, the car is now taken apart again. This time, took off the front bumper. Fender liner, all the undercovers, all that stuff. Uh, started mounting up the traction fluid cooler and then I mocked up the the main uh, plate for the supercharger, mm -hmm. uh, mostly to uh, see how the color looks against the, uh, the bright blue of the rest of the engine bay. And uh, with it mocked up, uh, I actually like it. Um, it looks, to me, it looks. Uh, it I guess it makes this finish look more neutral. Yeah. Uh, subdued, um, but. I mean, it looks drastically different here, right now, compared to when you shine the this bright ass light on it. Yeah, then, and then it'll probably look different under the sun as well. Yeah, because it has a lot of metallic in it, right? I guess. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's like color shifts that like, on its own. Mm-hmm. But so far, I like it. Yeah, it kind of works. Yeah. I guess we'll figure it out once we get all the other pieces on there to see if it really does match or if it throws everything off or not. But so far, it looks okay. Yeah. So far, so good. We'll mm -hmm. see. Only one way to find out. Yeah. The hair's looking good still. Yeah. Got some more brown to it now. Uh-huh. And then the rest of the stuff is over here. Yeah. Yeah, this uh, oh, brackets, intercooler, belt, pulleys, this is such. Yeah, now you're waiting for like a socket to take the crank off? Yeah, um. Turn crank pulley, I mean. Yeah, the uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm sure everybody, anybody who's uh, worked on like F20, F22 knows, or I guess a lot of fucking cars, um, the crank pulley is always a bitch, mm -hmm. the crank pulley bolt. So, um... Are you restricted by space here, too? Yeah, uh, well... I can get an impact on it. Um... This car does have the EVS, uh, steering rack spacers on it. Mm -hmm. But I just slipped those off. I unbolted it, slipped it off. And that gives me enough room between this, uh, frame here and, uh, the rack. Yeah. To actually get an impact in there. But... Like a stand, like a normal uh, 19 millimeter impact socket, mm -hmm. just isn't transmitting the force uh, enough. So we got like that, like a super thick one. Yeah. Uh, I think it's supposed to be here tomorrow, right? Yeah, it's supposed yeah. to. So it'll be here tomorrow or Monday or Tuesday or whatever. So. You don't want to climb in there with a giant pry bar and just crank it out. Huh? There's really nothing to 
like try against. That's the thing. It's yeah. like yeah, I can get like a like I can use like the OEM Honda tool, which is like it, it um, seats against like the outer diameter of the pulley. It's like it's like a reverse socket, or it's, yeah, like reverse socket. Mm. And then you use I can stick that in there, and then typically I'll just jam it up against the ground. Yeah. And just crank on it, but uh, I'm gonna try this first. Yeah. Yeah. So the bar just goes flying off. Exactly. Smashing into fancy shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> literally, well, like, hopefully it just hits really easy. <laughs> it just flies all over the fucking shop. Yeah. Dude, when I took your IS uh, crank fully off. Yeah. Uh, when I did, like, the, well, the timing belt. Mm hmm. Uh, the only. <laughs> I tried fucking everything, and the. In the end, I just fucking just cranked that shit with the starter. Yeah, I remember hearing it. Yeah. It was, uh, it definitely lifted the car off <laughs> the ground. Yeah, yeah, let's not do that with this one. Yeah. Oh, I can't. Anyways, I think it, I think, I think it spins the wrong direction. Oh. Yeah, or something, I don't know. <laughs> but um, when, I, when I reinstall the crank pulley, uh, mm. I do need to actually jam it up against something so I can torque it. Yeah. yeah. To torque it? Yeah. Like with a torque wrench, not like a go okay, okay. Yeah, so far so good. I like it. Hopefully that socket works out. Hopefully, yeah. but I ordered all the Koyo stuff um, today, and then some fuel stuff. It's so. a Koyo S2000 aluminum radiator. Yeah, Koyo radiator, oil cooler, and then... And then Brandon requested spoon hoses. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean, he, well, he... He mentioned it. Mm. I'm not, I'm, I'm honestly not 100% sure yet. It's a lot of fucking shades of blue, man. Spoon. What if he goes, hey, I want a yellow valve cover too? <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't put it past him. If he wants a yellow valve cover, you can have the yellow valve cover, dude. Mm. It might work. I mean, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, sure. I mean, if you fucking, if you can do the hoses, might as fucking well, right? Mm-hmm. Get a yellow valve cover and then get a fucking you know green thing manifold. And he said you he ordered new headlights. <laughs> yeah, new headlights. <laughs> After somebody on YouTube said that now it's time to get new headlights. Oh, I think that was more of a joke because uh, everybody's getting new headlights. Yeah, every time you do a start a build, you have to get new headlights. So. Yeah, you got new headlights. Dude, even I got new headlights. Mm hmm Recent, Well, not not the RSX. What about this thing? Oh yeah, Billy has headlights for it. Uh, the the Japanese plastic headlights. Oh, nice. They're not brand new, but they're like they're in pretty good condition, I think. Yeah. Good enough. Yeah. Hi. Hi. What's up? What is this? Like Some new stuff right here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where'd you get this car from? Project. Got it like a few months ago, like Lifehaster. Oh shit, it's like a fucking SIR? No, it's a conversion. Oh. It's just a right hander conversion. Yeah. Yeah, but I, when I bought it, it was just basically stock with a conversion. Oh. I did everything else to it. Damn, that full interior and everything, huh? Shit. Yeah. Learn more at purtubeglobal.edu. Yeah, you put the motor in? Okay. Yeah, Here's I did the pulse, I painted the bay and all this stuff. Is that a V18C? Yeah. GSR. Oh, you painted the bay too? Yeah, painted the bay. So what came, with, what came with the car when you bought it? Uh, the paint and body and a single cap. Yeah. I did full suspension, all the, all the good stuff. So it's just like a project that somebody abandoned or what? No, it was running. It was just basically just a stock right-hand drive car, but it was barely running. The old motor was like smoking and stuff like that. Oh, wow, look at the spoon hood. It's so see-through. <laughs> this is just like a side project? Yeah, it's kind of just a project. I haven't put like a car together in a while, so I kind of just wanted to put another car together. Mm. I did all the CGI stuff too. Oh, okay. You already had all the stuff? Or you bought no, it? No, I got it all. Luckily, I found it off the brand. This fancy sriracha umbrella. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's a roulette. Of Con congratulations on 39 spicy years. <laughs> 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 still in Irwindale, right? 
Yep. That's sick. Works. Yeah. I wonder what the double layer is for and why it's like aerated. You mean the, the air goes in and it vents out so then you know... That's because they wanted... They like wanted, does it smell spicy? Like... <laughs> they wanted to promote their products and also their company on outside so they had to double layer. Yeah, this is an expensive umbrella man, shit. He's got like double handle too. Yeah. I don't know why it's like this. It's sick, what the fuck? So you can hook it on. Yeah. <laughs> it's the most exciting thing at the track today. They're always at the... <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know, like, so Andrew Horns EK. Okay. Oh, fancy dude. Dude. Tell me about it. Hey the frack works looks great without the red accents in it. <laughs> Yeah, it looks amazing. All black. This is the oh, best part of the car right here, though. No, I haven't heard. This bad boy? What is it? Tell us about it. It's uh, Bosch drive by wire. It's auto body. Mm. This is, uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of times before, I think, you know, everyone hated drive by wire shit when it first came out because it was laggy or whatever. But, like, mm -hmm. dude, drive by wire is it's amazing. Yeah. It's fast. It's faster than your foot, for sure. Yeah. It's for faster sure. than a cable. You can't, you can't, your, 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 a cable can't beat the speed of electricity. Mm hmm. Know? Man, look at these fucking fancy grounds, dude. Oh. Look at those things, man. You can disconnect this thing real quick. Mm. Andrew was telling me this one on the block. It's like, look at this ground. Oh shit. Okay. Look at this fucking ground. Look how fucking nice that is. This is also very fancy. This is <laughs> 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 The GRZs on here. GRZs. I haven't seen this car in so long. Yeah, it's so different now. Yeah. And you gotta get that ECU. It's right oh. Super baller ECU from Australia. Oh, let me go in. Oh, yeah, I do a little. <laughs> the cage. Oh. And if that's not baller enough, then you can look at the dash. <laughs> How's the Amtron compared to like, uh, like Motec or Haltech? Uh, I mean, Motec and Amtron are like really close. Same Whereas Altec things? is still kind of like on the lower side of things. Yeah. Um, this is motorsport grade. So Mtron is what's on the Porsche. It's on the RP nine six eight, right? Yeah. The and fastest. Tilt and Evo. Oh, Tilt and Evo oh, too. Cooper, Cooper, Cooper. Cooper. This is a PDM right here. Fancy things. Oh. And the Motec C one twenty seven. Oh yeah. Look at that. You got internet right here. The fucking yeah, cable. cable. <laughs> Check out the dash. The colors on this dash are so like vivid. There's different uh, pages. Definitely on the wrong side. <laughs> oh, you want to come this side? Yeah. That's just admiring his land cable. <laughs> 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 Holy shit, look at your door. Oh, oh wow. So, the different page. This is um, the PDM. This is the cam. So, we have the Ames cam. So, it talks it to it uh, by the cam. Mm. And then um, this is the race dash page, so this is the page I'm driving on. Uh -huh. Yeah, and it's different like settings. Yeah. And also I can play with brightness, set timers, and start the car, turn it off, do whatever. Mm. Did you program all this stuff yourself? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's how I do it. And a lot of... Dirt did your harness, right? Yeah, yeah, they did the harness. Nice. So, it's pretty much um, the... Rywire PDM, uh -huh. but we just changed out everything on it. Wow. So it was the backwards uh, P14. They just reprogram it to just talk to everything. Yeah. It's a lot of work, but you have to figure it out. Yeah. This car is so different from the last time I saw it. Yes. This is like a pretty big change. <laughs> How long has it been down? Uh, I actually took it apart in February. I want mm. to say February. Maybe March. I can't remember. But. Like a solid year to get this? What's that? Solid year to get this all done? Yeah, and a lot of it is just timing and waiting for stuff, waiting, like getting stuff programmed, mm -hmm. and then dyno, and it's just like a little, little stuff. It just takes a long time. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. And, you know, learning how to do a K for the first time too, so. Oh, that's right. I've never done one before. <laughs> Damn, the door's just like a shell. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, there? You buy a block? That's the original PCB. That's a PCB valve. It goes into the manifold. Yeah, stock PCB valve. Are you gonna get this or what? Yeah, well, I gotta get it, man. Just gotta get it. Get this, and then Andrew made this adapter plate for the Bosch. So we'll try it out. Yeah. This is a nice setup, man. Mm hmm. Looks so racy. Yeah, very recent. Oh, you know, I now I want to change my line to the XRP too. Like I, might, I wanted to, just like didn't want to spend the money, but now I'm just like. I have you have to. you have XRP money now, or would that would that change? No. <laughs> <laughs> but this I, is the hardest part right here. Like, yeah, stuck like all that thing in there. Yeah. Like, yeah. There's flex fuel in there. There's oh. there's like the thingy fuel filter, everything. What do you have your flex fuel sensor? It's right underneath. It's right here. Oh yeah, you tucked it in there. Yeah, like, tucked it in there. Pressure yeah. sensor. Yeah. Sorry, the ghetto uh, catch can. Mm, yeah, this is cool. I like this. <laughs> it's going to catch everything. It was just on the, uh, it had just had a, a vented valve cover before and it was dumping out. Yeah, just yeah, kind of common on K. This is a K24? Like K20. K20. So right now, yeah, man, we K20 don't fuck with K24. Man. Yeah. Nobody got time for four. Because <laughs> the rear is like, hey, the high rev. Mm -hmm. A little oil cap is Yeah, man. It still feels like a little short to me, but. Uh, like nine, I'm like, dang, it happened so fast. <laughs> right, yeah, Versus yeah, like yeah. on a beat, you just stand on it, like, okay, waiting for nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In first gear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eventually, just moves up. Yeah, this is a solid setup. It's great. Um, but I, have, I only have the calipers right now. I need to. My friend has the rotors to practice now. Okay. So, not a whole lot happened today. Just a lot of practice runs and uh, look at Andrew's car and the car's braking. But, Great sights and scenes here at Chuck Walla. Yeah, so uh, I sent photos of Brandon today. I was like, hey, like I like it. Mm -hmm. I was Unless you absolutely hate it, I'm sticking with it. And he's like, no, it looks sick. And I was like, okay. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. What is this? Oh, blow valve? Uh, well, it's, uh, relief. it's a relief valve. Technically work a little differently, right? It's a supercharger, right? Yeah. So you marked up the actual unit now? Yeah, I just want to check clearances and stuff around it. Yeah. This business has like AC lines and whatnot. Uh, also, I'm just uh, mocking up. Uh, well, because I got new uh, couplers and... Uh, Clamps for everything. You can yeah. see the the clamp and the coupler on the inner cooler oh, sure on the outer side. It, that's actually I just, I need to check the the sizing to make sure it was all right and stuff too. Mm. So slip with the black, yeah, the black that. clamps with the black clothes. Yeah, because those like because uh, HS includes like a uh, bluish purple mm -hmm. couplers, and it's just too much too blue, much. you know. Uh, yeah, I never thought I never seen uh, black clamps though. Yeah, I mean they're just billet aluminum clamps. Yeah. Black on black. It looks like it's like it's it looks like it's camouflage. Yeah. It looks like it do about the pop off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, also I'm gonna just take one of the valve cover and uh, uh, have that uh, plated as well as because uh, uh, like a lot of the like the brackets and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a there's a bunch of like, little brackets that are part of the kit. You can see here that hold the intercooler up and uh, like like this, for example. It's, I, I'm, this is, I'm sure. is that a tow hook? No. No, it's, uh, <laughs> it's the rear mount for the, or like the, it, it mount, it's the bracket to go from the blower to the head. So like this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. So it actually, uh, this is the inlet. It actually bolts to the inlet. Interesting, right? Looks like a cup holder. Yeah. So it actually <laughs> just mounts to your center console like this. Yeah, it's, it's only for uh, Red Bulls. <laughs> yeah. But Red Bulls that have a flange. <laughs> And that's what the holes are for. You can put adjustable thickness yeah. cup, <laughs> cup surrounds. No, but like, you know, it's just like inherently like, uh, you know, because there these are like just raw. Like, you know, there's like uh, lines from like the tooling and like, they, yeah. you know, they come in a bag. So there's like some like scratches and stuff that obviously won't affect anything. Mm -hmm. But you want to make it nice. I just want to be extra about it. Yeah. So, because you can't see that shit because like there's literally a pipe that goes on this side and this is like on a blower. So like, you can't, obviously this is not going to be visible or anything, but like I told Brennan, you know, fancy underwear is still fancy. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm probably going to go ahead and get, get all the 
after it's all together, depending on uh, how much time we have between uh, until uh, we tune, uh, I'll probably just go and uh, just take off all the brackets, I'll take an extra valve cover, and just go get them later. Yeah. Hmm. Was this um, kit made for a right hand drive cars? Like, with the AC <laughs> line? If it's, if it's, oh, okay. Yeah, I think the AC line is in. AC line might be the same spot. No, it's not. Definitely it should not. should be on this side, no. right? Sorry. Yeah, definitely not. Because <laughs> that's where the fucking clutch master and the braking master go. Uh, sorry. The, yeah, everything's literally mirrored. Like the ABS uh, unit is on this side and all that. Hmm. Uh, I think with the. This kit was originally developed um, uh, with Evasive. HKS and Evasive developed it. So I think it might have. It might have actually. I'm not sure. Sorry, no, it was developed for the Japanese market car, and then they developed the U.S. version with the base of, um, Oh, there's two different part numbers? There's like the, there the right-hand drive and left-hand drive part number? There is not. The, the, this, is, this kit is, is, is the same one for both. Okay. Yeah, there used to be two different part numbers, but they were able to uh, combine them into one that fits both. Yeah, they just made components that work for both. Huh? They just, made, they just ended up making a kit that worked for both. Oh. Wait, wait, where'd you hear that? I just figured it wouldn't make sense to make two oh, different kits. Oh, no, I right? thought that somebody told you. Damn, the AC lines are just all over the place. <laughs> yeah, they look kind of, uh, yeah. So it's just like little things here and there that I've been addressing. Like, I, I pulled like most of the like headlight harness and stuff out yesterday. Mm -hmm. Just to pretty much put it back in a, a very, very similar way that it was before. But then like, they're clean now. And then it's just like, you know, super mild. No wonder they make like an AC, like a kit to like tuck the AC lines for these Oh, they do? Because it gets rid of like... Oh, and we do they put it under the frame rail or something? I don't, I don't remember. Who made it? I don't remember. Mm. I guess you could just make get fittings made, huh? Like fittings in line. Mm -hmm. Just make it all... It's just going all over the place. Yeah, it's and pretty... It's uh, like, it doesn't follow anything either. Not really. <laughs> I wonder if the right hand drive one actually looks more, how do you say, like cohesive. If, like if it follows yeah. the frame better? Right, because I feel like they could have. But like that wasn't really the, the point of the car though, right? When Honda designed it or whatever, they were like, probably like, what the fuck, dude? If I had like a, um, an air, air, air intake box that just covers everything in this. That's true, yeah. A lot mm -hmm. of it does get covered by that. So today is an exciting day. <clears throat> we are driving to Riverside. Side to pick up Dur's new project. Uh, yeah, when was the last time you owned a Civic? Last owned a Civic is probably like five, four or five years ago. Four or five years ago? Oh, about like a stock Civic. Oh, stock Civic. Uh, what, like a, what, was, what was the last time you had like a project car? Project car? I should have sold my EK in 2008. for us because it's nice to finally see Jared a Civic guy for all these years. He's just been randomly collecting parts here and there for a car that he doesn't even own. So now he's actually going to have a car to put all his parts in. So it should be pretty interesting. It's going to be a bit of a drive, but I have to put like some random ass wheels on the car for now to get the car back. Wheels and lug nuts. Yeah, like it all. It's like OEM <laughs> lug nuts to put on. Got a seat to put in the car because it doesn't come with interior. Or, yeah, this is our car Princess. back here. Yeah, exciting times. I can't wait for this. Should be fun. Uh, 15725. Yeah. This is two very opposite moods here. One guy is very excited and the other guy is very sad. So. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. It's, it'll be in capable hands, don't worry. You know what though, I'm glad so to you. Yeah, right? If it went to somebody else and I'd be like, alright, at least I know what's going to happen to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hopefully good things. It'll be nice, yeah. <clears throat> no more fires, hopefully. So what happened? Well, it threw the motor. That's what you get for racing with a blown head gasket. It, I pushed it. It threw the motor or you threw the motor? I threw the motor, but <laughs> it is what it is. You got to give me the hookup if I go back to... Well, Ryan hooks me up. Yeah. But I, I know I'm going to build another car like this, so it's like... It is what it is. Mm-hmm. You'll find your way back into one. Yeah. 
Yeah, you might have to raise the car a little bit, I think. We'll see. It's kind of a big wheel. So you're just gonna hold on to all these parts or you're gonna try to get rid of the rest of it? Oh, this is all I have. Oh. Like I'm pretty much done after this. Like I'm gonna go through all my shit today. Jared's gonna come pick up a bunch of stuff that I have, like just uh -huh. random. I have like a B-series head in there. I have a B-series block. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna maybe build something on the side. I don't know. We'll just, see. Just to stay occupied? Something, man. It's hard not to like, this is like my outlet in life. Yeah. Know? Some minor adulting and then you'll get back into it every time. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. So Jaren is keeping his seats and Dur had to pull out one of his fancy Recaro seats to drive home in. Yeah, like what is that, like a three thousand dollar seat or something? Yeah, cost more than the car, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's been sitting in his bedroom for like how many years now? Probably like two years. Uh, and he had ASMs before and he, and he got rid of them. <laughs> Shit, I hope these are long enough. If I don't, do I need to use the spacers? No. Um, the only, I think PCI includes them so you don't put like stress marks on the side of your seat. But, mm. like, or, or it might be needed to clear like the, uh, yeah, like, like that stuff, things, right? Yep. Hmm. Shit, I hope these are long. You can use my bolts if you bring them back or if I get them back. I'll ship them back to you. Yeah, this is like, with the spacer, they just only have like that much. Point. Yeah, you want to use I'll my bolts? Let's see what happens. I just, I know that I want to use those bolts again. Mm -hmm. And it was like $40 for a seat. Is it titanium? Do it. No, it's just ARP hardware. Um, I haven't seen, I haven't seen Dirt work on a car in so long. Holy shit, man. <laughs> and these things are just gonna slide all over the place. <laughs> I do. If I go high, then I don't need the. I don't think I need the. Uh... True, but uh, yeah, I don't. I want. I'd rather it be a little bit more reclined. Um, you don't want to use the. Spacer just to protect the seat. Yeah, it's up to I'm you. Not worried about it. All right. Just buy another one. Don't I worry. Guess. <laughs> you guys should shoot you the spacer. That's what they're designed for. <laughs> oh, you want the bolts I have? No. So you had it. This is where you had it then, right? Yeah. Damn, that's kind of uh. That's higher. That's high. For well, the sparkle is a different seat though. Like if you oh, look the, at that, yeah, so you really like the butt of the sparkle goes. Oh, okay. It's like more curvature. So you mounted it so that basically this was touching the bottom of yeah. your Sparco, huh? Yeah. See, so you're like still a lot yeah, higher. I'm going to go to the highest. You're going to get super high? Super high. So after the last club racer thing, you blew up the motor and you put the swap in after? Yeah. Mm. And you already had it. Yeah. But you don't know what's in it. It's a P16B. Internally, you never open it up though. Nah, mm -hmm. but it's pretty. I mean, it's based off the dyno numbers. It should be. It made like really good numbers from what Dur said. Yeah, like 180, 117. Yeah. It's just it's healthy, I think. You know. Yeah. Which is cool, you know. Yeah. The trans feels good. That's still important. I mean, how much did you drive it after you put the motor? In? I don't know. I drove. You know. I drove around like a lot. Mm. You know, I was driving this instead of my truck for like three or four weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Drive it to work and stuff? Yeah. Drive it to work, drove it to run errands and stuff like that, or just drove it for fun. Hmm. What's the story with the door panel, though? It's very, uh, cowish. Did he do this, or it came like this? It came like that. And it's missing the panel completely on that side. Yeah, he was gonna redo it, and then I ended up buying the car. Oh. Hey, what's going on here with this thing? <laughs> Did you do this? It came like that. Oh. Yeah, bro, I'm not that. Like, what nah. was what was the previous owner trying to do with this? Um, apparently it was Joe Exotic <laughs> and Prince. And it's like not even done well. It's like purple Joe Exotic. Actually, it's glued on really well. Yeah. It's just like it was never like I guess you have to like screw the backs in. Yeah, you have work. to like uh, the tabs. Yeah. You have to heat them up. Yeah. I told Dur I got some like uh, I got 
I was gonna replace it with this. I got some black weed. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you just have the panel right there. Huh? Yeah. Dur, do you want this? He's gonna use Recaro material. Uh -oh. Okay. Oh, you're gonna do Recaro? <laughs> Are you gonna do Ricaro with the Brid uh, <laughs> fade? Like the... I actually have that fabric at home. Yeah. <laughs> the Ricaro gradation? Yeah, he does. <laughs> nah, you built some sick cars. That's some, I'm happy you're getting this one. Yeah, that'll be nice. I'm kind of excited. Can I drive it when you're done? Sure. You fit in it? Yeah, we'll just put sliders. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was rude. Do you guys want anything to drink? Orange juice or anything? No, I have coffee. Thanks. I have water. Alright. It's fine, man. Stick that door panel back, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you have all the uh, AC heater and all that stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Damn, it's gonna have AC and stuff? Damn, dude. You need a head unit? I got an extra one. <laughs> uh, it depends on what the, uh... Hopefully there's wiring still for that. No. Uh -oh. So I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Yeah. You know. If I'm gonna mount it down here. Oh yeah. And then put gauges up there. Mm -hmm. Cause I have a defi system, but I, I still need one defi gauge and that I need a source. Okay. I have a water temp and I need a source of oil pressure, but I need a very specific series. Like I want it all to match. Yeah, it's weird when it, one of them is like different. Yeah, I need to find the same size, which is kind of hard. Mm. Damn, this is. Thing comes with some spoon brakes. Temporary wheels for now until we get the car back to the shop. It's a, it's a project, but excited to see where it goes. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while since you worked on cars, it's fine. This is why he wanted to start early. What? Because you're just because he's gonna take forever. <laughs> oh, I, I, yeah, I can't get this bolt started. <laughs> how do you do this? Oh, I think I can finally get it. You forgot to work out on how to work on cars, huh? Yeah, just wiring. Yeah, and yeah. Just wiring and photography, you know. Oh, sell me this harness back if you're not gonna use it. Too. Okay, yeah, I'm probably gonna eventually get rid of the harness. Okay. Eventually, but for now, it's it's a good car to just every. I mean, everything's just. Good it's to go sound, right man. now. What about these mirrors? You want these back? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Those came off Will CRX. Oh really? Yeah, so the, wheel, the, the mirrors have gone 154. Oh. I think I'm gonna sell the cluster. Oh shit, you got a CTR thing on the cluster, huh? Yeah. I think I'm gonna sell the cluster. Sell it back to you. You're gonna put a Motec display in there. Don't worry about it. That's cool. <laughs> You did the swap here? Yeah. Yeah. Stop staring at it. You're going to miss it, dude. I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I'm going to drive, though. It's so, so far back and so low. Got some thick shoes. Yeah, I need some platforms. I can barely reach it, huh? I feel so low. I thought I always thought you drove this low. Did I? Yeah. This is a new uh, headliner, I think. Right? Yeah, CCR. Civic Type R. Mm. The other one was all like, uh, like hanging down. Oh, okay. It sucked to put that in too. Those are not fun to swap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll be interesting to drive back. Today is my first day. Like, I'm purging all my car shit out of my life. It's a bunch of stuff that comes with the car. The blower tube. So, this one's got jungle juice in it. Yeah, the refrigerant. You can keep that in your car. Okay. <laughs> I just saw some back here. I mean, I have bags in there too. You need to throw it in there. Here you want. I'll put it in the back of this car. You 
go. I'll follow. What? Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Later. I love it when my friends get excited about new stuff, new projects and stuff, and uh, I haven't seen Dara this excited in a long time. Probably since we last traveled to Japan. Now he's got a new project car. Things are looking up for this year. Hopefully, he has some fun with it. We shall see. I know Dara's super excited and all right now, but um, it's like fucking 90 degrees today. And we're sitting in traffic right now, and there's no AC in that car, so maybe he's regretting his purchase. <laughs> How's it feel? It's like I'm a kid again. <laughs> <laughs> the excitement in your life is back. Yeah. Just <laughs> so raw and like rattly and hot and shaky. And yeah. It feels very raw. But you missed that feeling, huh? Yeah. yeah. I never thought I would, but it's yeah. a very nostalgic feeling. Yeah. Who knew that the next EK you bought would be a white one? <laughs> well, so I either wanted white, black, or silver. Yeah. I didn't want red. Didn't really want, even want Midori. But yeah, white. and this was like a 96, 98. Right? Yeah. This white. is a good, this is a good base. Yeah, it's a good project car. I mean, it's a little rough here and there, but something to work with. Yeah, for sure. Uh, is it engine uh, Yeah. This thing broke. They said it was a B60 B CTR motor from HMO. Yeah. And it came mated with a transmission. Yeah, you can see the sticker right there. Yeah. It says uh, orange ball. Yeah. So it's got a 98 spec first gear, um, fifth, and final drive, which is a 4.785 final drive. And uh, diff is. Just as standard. Yeah. Just to be. Can get it down there. <laughs> yeah. How crazy is that? that has that orange ball transmission in it. Super cool. Yeah. Orange ball is like a tuning shop in Japan for you guys that don't know. They built some pretty sick cars. Got to see some of their cars that attacked last year. And now we have a transmission that they had their hands on. Oh, intake. <laughs> <laughs> One of many rattles. Yeah. They didn't say how many mo uh, miles were on the motor, huh? Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think they really know. Yeah, you never really no, truly know. This motor's from H. It's fine. It's fine. The uh, prop for it? Let's see. And then he did the COP, right? Yeah. yeah. Cool on plug. That's Eibach R2s with the external reservoirs. That's where one of them is right here. Innovative mounts. I mean, he said he barely did the swap, right? Yeah, he's missing the little insert. Oh, yeah, I'm no, sure this we can better find the, better to pin it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a good start, man. Got a coil rider ready. It's just a generic whatever header. Yeah, I see it's like a Jay's racing replica. Mm -hmm. I probably want to just put like a JDM 4.1 with yeah. a heat shield. Oh yeah. Try to keep things looking OEM under here. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I don't know how OEM I can keep it looking. <laughs> I want to put like a Comptech ice box, just because those look a little bit more OEM. Do you have one? No. Oh, I thought you would have had source a, one. Thought you would have stocked one already. No. Yeah. Uh, I like that it has a one inch uh, Integra Master and Booster. Mm -hmm. What did he give you? A new clutch? New uh, clutch reservoir? Clutch Master Cylinder? Yeah. Probably just replace it with the S1000 one so that this will be tucked down down there. Yeah. Missing our ground. I know. I saw that man looking at the car. <laughs> the innovative mounts. Yeah, there's a lot of loose ends to tie up and then stuff that you're gonna change out anyway, so yeah. it's a good project 
yeah. it's a good starting point for cars. Instead of going to Japan, we might as well work on cars. Yeah, it's uh, traveling. <laughs> Spend money on cars. <laughs> yeah, save some money and work on cars again. Uh, nice calipers. Yeah, I got some spoon calipers. Got got Windmax, earlier. Uh, new, brand new Windmax pads. W5s? New rotors. Yeah, it's got Integra front and rear knuckles. But you're gonna go five lug. Yeah. yeah. But for now, it's perfectly fine with four lug. Mm -hmm. We can have fun with it like this. Yeah. Exceed lift. Yeah. I had an exceed lift, but you destroyed it. There's still parts. Of it. This is fun. This is what was when I was driving home. Just, <laughs> and then this is just like the fucking the leopard print. <laughs> like, like, with like all this like a motor mount in Why here. Why is there a mountain there, anyways? It's the rear motor mount. Oh. Oh. Okay. He didn't. Yeah. He, he did the. Try. It's the rear is the hardest one to get to. So the transmission one and the driver's side oh. one are easy to swap. But then the rear, you always have to like lift the T bracket and then get everything. It's yeah. a pain in the ass. But... Came with a steering wheel. Ashtray. This is your seat. This is just like a, a regular RSG, right? Yeah, the RSG, the blue one. But then you had ASMs, but then you sold it. Yeah. And you get I a Battlecraft the shift knob on there. Hmm? You gotta get a Battlecraft shift knob. I have one at home. <laughs> You're gonna put the radio back in? Maybe, yeah. Eventually. Got Megan pedals at home. Hmm. Or off my EK. No, oh, you still had them. Yeah. Let's gut it back here. But you're gonna put the rear seat in right now? Yeah, just to, and then put everything in the trunk. Make it look more like a car for now? Yeah. Yeah. And this one's, this box of bolts is just like. <laughs> <laughs> and then the suspension's pretty stiff in this car, so everything's just vibrating and the mounts, they're stiff. So <laughs> it's like, man, I haven't driven something like this in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> I could barely, like, this. The seat is as far forward and as high as it'll go, uh -huh. and I could like barely touch the, barely clutch it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty far back. You can see. Cause Jaren is probably what six foot. Like, He's like six one. Six foot right? twelve. You know? Yeah, <laughs> seven feet tall. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's all in here. Yeah. Rear brake lines. Oh, this is probably for the heater. Mm hmm. That's good to have. It's cool that he saved everything. Mm hmm. Like a cap for... Oh, this is the cap for the seat belt. Mm hmm. This is like the hooks for. No. It's supposed to be handles in the back. I don't remember if there's. It's also uh, handles in the back back here. Mm. For EK. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit handles? Yeah, I don't know if EKs here have it, but. I mean, there's provisions for it, but I don't remember. I think it did. I don't know. I, I never on, on US, it's only in the front, but I don't. It's weird how it has provisions for it. I rarely see EKs as back seats these days. <laughs> it's like a lot of this stuff. It looks very familiar. Yeah. And I don't remember where it, this one almost seems like it goes on the transmission, maybe. Mm. Oh, the bracket. Yeah. yeah. And then maybe the the ground goes to it. Yeah. Let's just say it does. Yeah, first guy to buy a project and then put more stuff back on it. I mean, I could just throw it in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, this, I mean, he had it on. Yeah. He had this on here like this, but. There's also like random Velcro strips on the okay. panels. Oh, maybe it goes this way. It goes this way. Let's try this. This goes in here. Yeah, there you go. And this goes on here. Do you have hardware for it? Uh, in that box? In this box. I mean, it's all 10 mils. Yeah. 
but I'd like to keep it like as matching as possible. Yeah. Because you're super and all of that stuff. Pretty happy with your purchase. It's fun. You know, it's just a lot of work to be had, though. Yeah, a lot of fun work, though. Mm -hmm. Fixing things and just making my own. Mm -hmm. but it's a good platform to start with. Yeah. There's a lot of little cool little things, little touches that are already done, like even like these T bolt claps are kind of nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he definitely does some cool stuff to it. Everything's pretty well done. Yeah. It wasn't like a hack job or anything. Mm -mm. He knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Are you going to get a new cap for that distributor since you don't need it no more? Uh, maybe. Yeah. Maybe get the billet one. Yeah. Address this oil leak. It might be just a valve cover gasket. Is it a lot? Or is it a uh, it's just moist. Yeah. And then it's just dripping down the side and then to the uh, head gasket, but it's just... And the motor sounds pretty healthy, right? You said mm -hmm. it made, a one, made 180? 180 and then 117 the torque. Yeah. That's pretty good for a B16B. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm telling you. Something's got to be going on under that valve cover, man. It's got, I mean, it's got orange ball transmission, so what else is... Yeah, who knows, right? At the minimum, CTR cams. Yeah. That's what I'm <laughs> thinking, too. It has to have something. It'd be sick if it's just like a... Like a Toda or a June stage one, right? Yeah. <laughs> or it's just a drop in cam. Yeah. Because he never even opened it up, right? No, he didn't. But, I mean, he, he said he put a new uh, timing belt, water pump, oil pump, mm -hmm. new flywheel, clutch, so all the, all the main necess necessities. Yeah. But we'll see, what, we'll see once I pull this off in mm -hmm. the future. I mean, because I'm probably going to change this valve cover. Yeah. I'm not going to leave it like this. Change it and then we can see what the timing belt and all that looks like. Yeah. What? Hey, um, Do you know what, what components they use? Yeah, there's a sticker. Really? Mm -hmm. And it says the date and then the, um, the, uh, mile, the, the mileage on the car. Oh, this is, this is all these OEM stuff. Mm -hmm. It's just rebuilt oh. to like a mix of OEM with 98 spec Type R. I have all the guts out of a 98 spec transmission. But it, I don't, I don't know. If, I always thought my EK was a 4.7, mm -hmm. but then now I'm kind of doubting that it really was a 4.7. I think this is, after driving this, like 80 miles an hour on the freeway is 4,500 RPM in yeah, fifth gear. That's a lot, right? Okay. It feels super short. Because 98 spec is basically a GSR with a B16 second with a 4.7. Wait, no, sorry, B16. Yeah, B16 second with a 4.7. But four seven. I've never. I guess all my other cars were always four four. Yeah, it's not right. Cause four. I had a four nine in the EG. Four nine. Yeah. And uh, we like five thousand. Wait, hey, like eighty miles per hour on the speedo, and not actual eighty, but like yeah, on, the, the, on speedo. the speedo. I think it was at like almost like forty eight to five. So. So you don't really want to cruise faster than eighty. No, I just feel like one twenty. Oh my god, it's <laughs> good. I don't know. <laughs> But I don't know. It was fine. Like we remember, we drove it all the time. Yeah, it was fun. There's <laughs> no interior in it. It's kind of fun having uh, uh, such a high final. I mean, it's not high, but for me, it's it's high because I'm not used to it. But on the streets, you're just like constantly going through gears, just cruising. Yeah, it's kind of nice though. It's fun. So the supercharger is on on now, as Utah said. What? Yeah. The supercharger is on on now. Yeah. Um, it's yeah, it's affixed to the engine. Yeah, everything is. Oh, I mean, it's tight. That's what you mean. And like the rear bracket, uh, the one that goes to the head is on. Mm hmm. Uh, I don't know, like the. You have the <sighs> door pipe here too, right? Hmm? This wasn't on yesterday. Yeah, I mean, I just I'll just I'll just I just have that on right now, so I can so I know how much room I have. Mm. For like other stuff like uh, the reservoir and like the filter and such. Mm. For all the traction fluid. Did you figure out where you're gonna mount that? The reservoir? The canister, yeah, the reservoir. Yeah, probably like right in this area right here. Mm. Did they make a bracket for it? Uh, kind of. And also, uh, in order to do that, the most difficult part, well, at least for me, was to figure out where to put the filter. Mm. So, 
the, the fluid filter. Mm -hmm. So it actually goes under this pipe, above the intake pipe. Uh, let me show you. Because this goes like so, essentially. Kind of like, like this. Oh, really? Yeah. In the, in the air filter is like right around here. Oh, okay. So for that reason, uh, there's really no space around the supercharger. Yeah. So I just put, you can, see, you can kind of see the filter right now just hanging there, but then I'm just going to get a mount and put it basically, essentially mount it under that intercooler pipe. Oh, okay. And then above this pipe. So, hmm. yeah. Because typically you would mount it like I think it's I think it's under here under mm -hmm. the frame, but there's actually no room because there's it got steering rack spacers. Ew, that's and right. also that's if you were gonna mount the reservoir over here, mm -hmm. um, on this side of the bay, and it's like a natural kind of you know and then come back around which uh, I mean, which is I am sure but yeah. yeah. What are you gonna do today then? Confirm the rest of the piping with the uh, hook clamps and couplers that we ordered. Mm -hmm. um, just make sure that everything's the right size because, yeah, cause I need to order more stuff anyways. So it's mm -hmm. one of those things, uh, just little things here and there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, currently waiting on fuel rail anyways, so can't do any of the injector stuff. Maybe I'll put the pump in. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Sure thing. Make me feel pumped, which is inside the thing, so mm. nobody will ever see it. But yeah. it's also like, I don't think I think you're gonna want to film that because it's like, yeah, it's just hella cramped and it smells like gas. Yeah, yeah. actually, I don't even know how the fuck I have to get to that. Yeah, I don't know. I might just, I might, I might, I might have to do it from the trunk now that you realize because the cigar type of little cover thing. Hmm, the, how, do you, how do you pronounce it? It's a tonneau cover? Tonneau cover. Tonneau? Tonneau cover. Tonneau. Tonneau cover? Yeah. You're trying to get access under it? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I was, I was gonna get the chin fuel pump. Yeah. It's only like three bolts for the tonneau cover to come off. But then you have to get the hard to pump first. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's why I was just like, oh shit. Because usually I just go, like, uh, I don't know, like, like, I don't know, if I like, like Phil's car, it's hella easy. I, just, I can take the hard top off by myself, because big hard top anyways. Yeah, just whatever. throw it away. Yeah. yeah, just toss it off to the side, and then just go in there, and it's just hella easy. Because mm. there's no soft top either. Mm. But This one has all the guts, yeah. Yeah, it has everything. <laughs>